Okay, so first I made a table that was possible factor and possible sum. And then I knew that I, had, I found factors of negative 8k, and I knew that negative 4 and positive 2 was, so then I tried um, negative 4k, and then something else, and, oh gosh. <laughs> and then positive 2k. And then I knew that 3 times 3 was 9, so then I tried plus 3, and then plus 3, and then 3 plus 3 is 6k. But then I figured out that that would get us, if we multiply this together, or um, this together, that would get us um, negative 12k plus uh, 6k, which is negative 6k, and it has to get positive 6k. So then I tried to switch to these two numbers, so then I did negative 2k plus 3, times positive 4k plus 3. And then, if I multiply those together, that was negative 6k, and then plus positive 12k, and that's positive 12, or positive 6k. So then I knew that this was the answer. All right. Are there questions for Tatum? Or, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be the part of the video you want to watch. Are there questions for Channing? on her work. All right, so the one thing that I would like to add is, um, so in math, we have a, a math grammar, right? Now, using our math grammar, we don't really like to start a, a mathematical sentence with a negative sign. So if you look at this original problem, the reason why it is not written in descending order of degree is because the quadratic term, and the quadratic term is the term that has the squared. It's called the quadratic term because if I graphed just negative 8k squared, I'd get a? Parabola. They all whispered parabola for those of you at home. Parabola. So that's why we have this ordered in ascending order of degree because the quadratic term is negative. So, what I could have also done is I could have used the same binomial pairs that Channing has, but I could reorder it and say 3 minus 2k times 3 plus 4k. And that answer would be equivalent, it would be the same. Are there any questions for problem A? All right, that may show up on your algebra sheet, just saying.